All right, what is going on, my Sozy Gaming? I'm Commander in Chief Wars of Five Seven, and welcome back to more reinforcement filler, where I give you guys some gameplay in the background and give y'all a little bit of side talk. Um, before I get on to this topic, I do apologize for in advance for my voice. Um, I had my soldier readiness processing, which is when they check a soldier's dental, medical finances and psychological in some cases um, capabilities to make sure that they're good to go if they ever need to get deployed statewide stateside or uh, nationwide um, unfortunately my last SRP which was about six months ago they did not have the necessary shots to give everybody and they just so happen to have them now so that means I had to get all five of my recommended or mandatory shots all in the same arm plus get drawn blood on the same arm <laughs> so yeah that's always fun so right now I'm currently battling acute bronchitis which is always fun never had that before so you know, just another thing that my body's fighting against and hopefully making it stronger. On that note, from this title that I have, you're probably wondering what's going on. Well, I, just like a couple others from my unit, have been deployed. And we're actually heading out tomorrow. Um, can't tell you guys where. For those who don't know, I am in the Georgia Army National Guard and my military occupational specialty, which or in short is MOS, is 31 Bravo, which is military police. And pretty much anything that civilian law enforcement does is what we do, just on different standard operational procedures of different bases that we have to go to. Uh, running checkpoints, patrolling certain areas of the bases, and pretty much just upholding by our that base's SOP um, rules and regulations or laws and regulations. Um, I'm not really nervous. I mean, only thing I'm worried about is the deployment, first deployment jitters, getting there. As long as I know what my shifts are and what my area of patrolling is going to be and just make sure that I have the right loadout I should be good I'm not too worried about it but um it is going to be a hot minute before I come back and the reason why I decided to deploy is for many reasons actually one of them being I recently got into a car accident, a head-on collision, and that was on July 15th. It was a head-on collision by some young kids who wanted to be thugs and pretty much give police a run for their money. And unfortunately, I was that person that stopped them. Um... I got a nice little claim from my uh, insurance, but at the same time, it wasn't really going to be enough. Usually never is. But I didn't have enough time to try and find a car. My parents were letting me use their car. I taking, was taking good care of it. But I needed a little bit extra money, even now more than ever, because I recently got promoted to sergeant and they relocated me to a different unit and that's about four or five hours away from my house so I didn't want to burden my parents mileage and vehicular condition on something that I feel like I should fix myself so I'm hoping to do these good amount of months have a nice little nest egg set up come back home use only a quarter of it to get a nice uh, 
used car that's still operational you know not so, not so much wear and tear hasn't been no accidents and I'm hoping to come back with even more experience so when I have soldiers under my belt or under my command I'll be able to give them uh, what's what I'm looking for well, most of outstanding leadership and trying to make sure that I can help them whenever I can I'm not like I'm not that much of a talker but I do care about people and I do what I can to try and help um, and plus I'm hoping to come back and still be with this channel and even though it's just a hobby and I'm doing it like part part time I'm hoping to still come back and have a little bit more skills underneath my belt especially with some of these military games that I'm playing so and on top of that for all you guys who've been sticking with me all these years still giving me some kind of support I'm not expecting a whole lot and really never do but you guys really kind of surprise me so I thank y'all and I'm glad to see that my quality of stuff so far has been to y'all's liking hopefully when I come back I'll be able to play Spider-Man 2 <laughs> if it comes out, out for the PC uh, still not sure if I want to come back to Battlefield or Call of Duty because it's just been just a complete clusterfuck since Modern Warfare 2 and Battle for Battlefield 2042 I actually had a lot more fun playing Battle Bit. <laughs> I might actually get back and playing that one. But, uh. I still want to try and have my small little channel grow. Maybe do a little bit more shout outs than normal. If I can't do them in one video, I'll just probably do it one or two in one video. You know. Try to help out any way I can. As, well, as far as my second channel, Nicholas Dennis, um, try to do some video documentaries of my time in the guard. Show y'all what I, we usually do. With all respect and not trying to get in trouble, that, that is. <laughs> and also just kind of show you guys that even though we do one weekend a month, and two weeks in the summer when it comes to our state and any other state that we get deployed to you know we're there for those communities we're there for the people so we they can call us anything they want they can call us Nancy girls nasty girls weekend warriors it doesn't matter to us because we go through the same training, the same types of things that other people go through in basic training. We get this game, we get the same skill sets for what we're trained to do. And for us, you know, we have to worry about a lot of things. We have to worry about being in the right uniform at the right time, in the right location while still worrying about outside things which is our job, our children, our families, our loved ones while still holding a job not saying that we're better than any other component I'm just saying that we have our our strengths, weaknesses, similarities and differences but the National Guard gets deployed into other countries too And when we're not in other countries, we're making sure that people who got hit by some kind of hurricane or there's been call on some kind of civil unrest and the police can't always handle it on their own. You know, that's when we step in. We help 
keep the peace. We help reaching out to other communities. We have a lot of pride for the guard. A lot of us do. A lot of us every single day try to do what we can to make our component better and to make the community better once we get uh, put in those places. I've been called to a lot of civil unrests and I had my first hurricane mission when Hurricane Ida came down. Helping set up checkpoints, defending uh, caches of food, water, toiletries. Same hours like regular police if they were on call for patrolling areas. So, when I said on my last video on Nicholas Dennis, I said go hard, go guard, I mean that. We never back down from challenges, and we never will. Now, we're less, a lot of us might be on the slow side, but no, we always have other people to back us up and tell us what to do and how to execute. So, I don't hate the guard. I don't think a lot of other people hate the guard. They do like to talk down to us. They do like to talk shit. And that's fine. But when they start saying that, we're useless. You know, I take a little bit of offense to that. But, that's neither here or there. I appreciate everybody's support over the years. I appreciate you guys, you know, giving me some feedback. Appreciate the views, appreciate the likes, appreciate especially appreciate the comments. I care more about comments than I do about uh the likes. You know, I'm always trying to get better. Um I will try my best to keep you guys updated. I know they just did this little thing where we can do posts or maybe I'm just a little bit old and I'm still new to the game of you too. So if there's a chance I can make a small little post saying, hey, how y'all doing? And I'll probably try and do that. Let you guys know that you know, I'm still kicking. Everything's good. But I hope you guys are doing okay as well. Hoping everything's alright with your job, your families, pets, your own well-being. Even though I don't know y'all physically, you know, I still care about y'all. So, that's going to be a, the end of my little spiel. So, gotta hurry up, get in bed, and get ready for the big send off tomorrow so thank you all for watching and until then I will see y'all in the next bell log whenever that will be so have a good day night wherever you're from as always Warzone out I love y'all y'all take it easy Roger.